Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much um, for being here with me. And I have my partner in crime, Claire Brennan. <laughs> Hello. Um, she's our communications coordinator and helps me do a lot of things for the All Trails Challenge, as well as sending you um, the e-news, doing a lot of events. Um, she is managing our ice cream social, which is coming up in a few weeks. It's free ice cream. So if you guys want to come out for that. Have a, a scoop on us. Um, <laughs> my name is Maeve Pollock. I'm the development and database manager at Friends of the West of Hicken, and I get the luxury of managing the All Trails Challenge. It's a super, super fun event, so I'm excited to be doing this. Um, I'm going to take you kind of quickly through um, our, our presentation, and then we'll walk very quickly through registering for, um, for the challenge itself as well as going through the website. Um, and then if you guys have questions, we'll have time. You can feel free to put some questions in the chat box. Um, Claire will be able to answer those or um, at the very end, we'll be able to um, unmute you guys so that you can ask them, ask them there. All right, here we go. This is our agenda. All right, so you guys probably all know about Friends of the Wissahickon, all of the work that we do, but we were founded in 1924. This is our 100th anniversary, which is super exciting for us. We've done a lot of really fun events over the course of the year, and there's more to come. We have over 3,000 members and friends, and we are the official park partner for Philadelphia Parks and Recreation in the Wissahickon Valley. So we do a lot of things here at FOW. Um, we work to make the, the park cleaner and, and greener and more accessible. Um, the park is over 2000 acres. And so we're really working to preserve all of the different um, areas of the park. It has over 50 miles of trails, tons of historic landmarks, public art. You guys will be exploring a lot of this during this challenge. We also provide a voice for the watershed and the park. So making sure that people understand the importance of, of the watershed itself. Okay, what is the All Trails Challenge, which is the reason why you're all here. So this year it's gonna be from August 5th to October 11th. It is a challenge for you guys and all of those who sign up to walk, bike, ride, run, all 50 miles of trails throughout the park. So not just going up and down Forbidden Drive, but really kind of getting into all of the different areas. And this is really an opportunity to explore places that you haven't been yet. Additionally, it's a, a um, an opportunity for you to kind of give back to not only Friends of the Wissahickon, but really the park. So we use this as a um, recreation spot and really being able to kind of give back in a meaningful way. Okay, important things to know. Next week, and by that I mean Monday, is the registration for FOW members. So anyone who's a member gets a head start um, with the challenge. That is a one week head start, so you can rack up as many miles as you can. August 15th is our, these are out of order. August 15th is our launch party, which is going to be at Chestnut Hill Brewing. It's gonna be super fun. Claire is going to drop into the chat um, the link to register. We would love to see you there. If you're registered for the All Trails Challenge, you get a beer on us. Plus, we'll be hanging out by all the games and it'll be a nice, nice afternoon. So um, moving back in time, August 12th is the official start date of the All Trails Challenge. So everyone, including those who are not members, are able to sign up and really start competing and then the last day of the All Trails Challenge is October 11th. So you have about two months to really get all of those miles in. There's a ton of fun stuff that we're going to have, just like prizes. We also have mini challenges that we'll do along the way. These will be um, as we go. So little snippets will be like, um, you know, raise $50, which makes you eligible for prizes to be able raise $50 and you'll be able to get, you know, this 
I don't know, let's say we're going to a museum. We have gift certificates to get you to a museum or, you know, the more tags that we get on social media that you're um, really amplifying what you're doing and to your network through social media. Maybe we have a challenge for that. Maybe you're starting a team and we're like, bring on one friend. And the more friends that you have, the more stuff. Just examples. All right. Resources. So one of the components of the All Trails Challenge is um, the kind of fundraising component. And so this is not as scary as it sounds. To be eligible for all of the prizes, that would require $50 either donated by you when you start or raised. So we have a lot of um, resources that can kind of help you get started on that. It can be a scary thing um, to think about, but really it's just kind of amplifying what you're doing and your why to your network. So you can feel free to join our uh, so our Facebook page, FOW ATC Challengers. You can get um, help from other people who have taken the challenge, how, how to do some fundraising, where you should go, where there's favorite place to be. We will have a weekly bulletin that I'll send out. This is how you'll get all of the information about any challenges that are coming up, um, any need to know information, as well as um, I'll send out a weekly, um, like a trail, a weekly trail that you should be doing, um, not required, just like a fun tidbit to kind of help you get to those 50 miles. Sometimes it's hard to know where to start. And then hanging out in person, come to our launch party. You'll be able to hang out with not just Claire and I, but a lot of other challengers that are going to be there, people that are new, that have done it before, all kinds of good stuff. As tips in the fundraising part, there's a lot of, um, of things that kind of amplify what you're doing. Um, posting photos, if um, when you're using the site, if you're posting pictures or if you're using your social media, um, really having, you know, it's so hard to find a not beautiful picture of the park. So really posting, you know, you in the park, you hanging out, any of those kinds of things, it's a really great idea to kind of connect with other people. Um, if you want to do videos or if you want to blog or vlog, then those are great ways. Claire has been doing that a little, a little bit for us. She did last year and it was super fun. Sharing why you're taking this journey. So what is it about the park that speaks to you? What is it about um, not just like the Wissahickon, but actually the trails? Is there a specific trail that means most? Maybe you have a story. You know, I grew up in Philly and I was going down Forbidden Drive, much like a lot of other kids when I was growing up. And so really being on the drive is special. So sharing um, really personal information like that, things that you're obviously comfortable sharing, um, really does, it does make a difference. And then at the very end, um, we will have a survey kind of just to gauge um, how you feel like you did, if there are things that we could do to really make this experience better and make our challenge even better for next year, which is going to be our 10th year of the All Trails Challenge. All right. Okay, so what is next? So register for the event when it's your time. If you're a member, you get Monday. If you're not a member, join as a member. And also you can come um, and join the following week and then come to our launch party. Super fun, come hang out, get a beer. They have other non-alcoholic things and all drinks and also snacks, which are delicious. So this is just a um, very blurry snapshot of what it looks like when you're registering on the page, which we're gonna go through also in a minute. So there are two ways when you sign up. One is if you already have a an account with Just Giving, which is the platform that hosts this um, event for us. If you do, you have one kind of screen. And if you don't, you have another. It's all the same just to kind of get you registered. We'll also walk through this. We're going to hold off on questions for just a second. Okay. So this is our All Trails Challenge page. So there's a ton of things that um, you have on here, tons of information. We have our progress bar, number of challengers, distance logged, 
um, any of the donations that we've gotten thus far. You have a bar up at the top that kind of leads you to different areas. I'm just gonna scroll down and we'll come back to that. Little description about the All Trails Challenge, which you guys are now going to be experts on, and our register button. Again, it's very simple to, to do this, sign up for the, um, the challenge itself, and we have a lot of great information to help you. So registering, quick guide to kind of share your page. Um, each challenger does get a page. You can also set up as a team. Um, we've had a lot of families do that, a lot of friends that are kind of competing along the way, one against each other. I've been working for years to try and get uh, the FOW staff to set up a team page. I know that the field team would kind of... Uh, they would have a lot. Um, suggested trails, suggested hikes for you guys. Again, it's hard to know where to start. Sometimes 2,000 acres and 50 miles is a lot. So really getting out there and figuring out where to go. And then what our tracking system that we use is called Strava. So this is um, an app that you can have on your phone. If you're, if you want to have, um, be tracking that way, connect to like a Fitbit or an Apple watch, any of those kinds of things. Um, if you don't want it, if there's a free sign up for that as well, it's not paid. If you don't want to do that, you can manually enter in your miles. So you went from here to there and you got 3.4 miles. You can enter that in no problem. All right. This gives you information about logging your miles. So registering for Strava, signing up, it walks you through it. Again, it is very simple to do um, and to connect it. Um, the one thing I will say about um, Strava is that if you're going to turn it on um, and be using the app, you should turn it off if you're walking in other areas that are not the park. Um, otherwise, if you're walking around, you know, Manhattan or around downtown or wherever, you know, taking a, a trip over to Italy or wherever you may be, that those walks that it registers is actually going to show up on your page. So we would love to see where you go, but it's not going to get you any miles here. And then you can meet the challengers. We've had some sneaky people get in here and sign up for their for the challenge already. Our sponsors, which we are very thankful for. And then as um, people are starting to get miles and they're starting to raise some funds, this will start filling out. So our individuals and teams for fundraising and then also for distance. Down below, we have some of um, FOW's Instagram um, posts that you could see. Always, we would love for you guys to check us out on Instagram. All right, I'm gonna take us up and I'm gonna go through registering very quickly. So again, this is gonna take you to a page to ask you if you have a Just Giving account. They do host this website for us. So if I hit, no, I don't, it's not supposed to give me that. What if I do? Yes, I do. Same thing. All right, hold please. We're gonna do this the sneaky way. I had this issue earlier. Ah, okay. So if you click no, I don't, it's going to ask you to sign up for this page. So again, very simple, first name, last name, email, and then you have a password. You do not have to opt into getting emails from them, and then you'll sign up. And it will kind of push you through to the rest of the registration process. I am going to close out of that because I do have a Just Giving account. And so because I've done this before, it's going to ask me to log in. This is my personal email, so don't be sending me emails to my personal email. Hopefully that's my password. Aha, okay. So once you are logged in, either signing up for your Just Giving account or already having it, you get to kind of set up your page a little bit. So what is your name? You don't have to do this. You could change this as you go along, any of that kind of stuff. But I'm going to put Maeve's ETC challenge. The challenge is 50 miles. You could put something else. If you just want to go 10, if you want to go 100, you can always change that. 
This is our waiver and release of liability. This is required to check as you go through. I encourage you to read it as it is important. I'm gonna put my information. Whoa. Okay. We're loading. All right. So I have officially registered. So my options from here are viewing my page or donating. You can create a team or join a team. If you're going to join a team, that team has to be created. Otherwise, you are the creator. Um, I, the, I would suggest donating to your page is the first thing that you do, simply because if other people are seeing that you've already given to yourself, that um, you know, you're fulfilling that that requirement to to be eligible for prizes, even if it's twenty dollars, something like that. That it, it does encourage other people to actually donate to your page, friends, family, things like that. I'm gonna view my page just for now. Okay, so options that I have, I can select an image. I can use my camera, which I'm already doing. I'm gonna skip this for now. You'll see a picture of me later eating a donut though. And then you can share your page. So you can Facebook, X, formerly Twitter, email, any of those kinds of things. Again, amplifying to your network is something that's really helpful in getting to your goal. I'm gonna skip that for now. Again, donate to your page, skipping for now. My dog is licking her leg right now, which is very distracting. Um, okay. So very easy and quick things to note on your, your um, page itself. So you get to change your picture if you want to, donating to yourself, and then a little blurb. You can change all of those things, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But as you progress through your challenge, you can see the amount that you've raised will change as you make donations or others make donations to you. And then you'll also see your mileage change. So as you're getting, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles, some of these are going to start highlighting. You'll be able to actually see what these look like. You can see your activity. So if you go and you did a three mile hike that was, you know, on the yellow trail and you logged that either by Strava, which you'll need to connect through here, or if you want to log your fitness, you can do that here as well. So I want to do, ooh, let's say two miles. That's weird. We'll have to come back. I'll check into that. Is it going to let me? No, we'll check into that. But you're able to log your distance here. So if you don't want to take Strava, this is the way that you would do that. And you could put a description in here, something like, you know, I went two miles, um, on the yellow trail with my friend, Claire Brennan. And that information will pop up here. You can also post pictures, add videos. All of those kinds of things are really helpful and engaging. Okay, we're gonna go back up. You can post an update just from this button down here. You can add or view your fitness or you can edit your page. And so this is where you would kind of change some of the information that you would have. So maybe I don't want my fundraising target goal to be a thousand, that seems pretty steep. So I'm gonna do 500 instead. I do wanna go 50 miles. This is my story. I can change all of this. So this is editable. And then I can enter my, my picture into here. I'm gonna hit update. Okay, page has been updated, awesome. My fitness, you'll have to connect Strava to do this. Um, you can do it down below. You can also do it here. This is my team information. If I want to make a team, it is here, or you can join a team that has already been made. If you are the one that creates a team, you are that team leader. If you don't want to be that person, which there are no requirements that would come along with being a team leader, that you can join a team. Your account information and settings. Please don't cancel your fundraising page. You're just getting started. All right, here we have it. I'm gonna go back to my 
any questions and I'm gonna open the floor to you guys. And put it in the chat. If you wanna raise your hand or you should be able to unmute. Yeah, I have a question. Um, yeah. Okay, about the trails and everything. Um, so my goal is to do all 50 miles of the trails. Right. Um, does that include all the little feeder trails and everything? I, I was picturing, I was in the West Lake today, I was picturing myself doing this and saying, like, do I have to like peek up this little trail to, um, to, you know, the stables or to like, you know, does that, that includes all of that little, all those yeah, little Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. So, um, again, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and count up mile per mile for you guys. Um, if you tell me that you go 4.8 miles, you went 4.8 miles. If you want to do all of your mileage on the drive or, you know, not taking every single little connector, that's fine by me. You get 50 miles either way. Okay. And I do have suggested miles in here as well. Let's see if I can find that. So in, um, I hope you can see my screen still. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can see a lot of the, the trails that we have suggested in here. Um, exploring these areas are really helpful. Um, I'll also be sending in my, um, my weekly uh, blurb to you guys, my weekly bulletin, that um, I'll have a lot of those kind of connector trails along the way. I have a question too. Um, my goal was to do 50 miles, but I understood that um, they had to be unique miles. You can't double track. Is that right? So I was turning my Strava on and off all the time. Is that so? And I still barely got to 50 miles. There's really more than 50 miles. There is. Yeah. Oh, um, oh again, with all of those connector trails, the goal is really to explore other areas. So yeah, unique trails is really what we're going for. But again, if you're like, I can't really get up onto the white trail. It's very difficult or any of these kinds of things that being on a single trail is what is best for you. Mm -hmm. Do it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Anybody else? Um, yeah, I had a question. Yes. Yeah. You did want to try and do all the unique trails which might be my ambitious goal to start out, but we'll see. Um, is there a suggested way to make sure like you're covering each one? Is it best to just print out a big map and highlight it on your own? Or I'm just curious if over the years of people doing this, they found a way to try and do that. Yeah, I've seen this done a few different ways. Um, the most common what I've seen, I'm happy to send you a pocket map while you uh, hit the trails. Um, and people will highlight where they've been along the route. Um, or they'll color it in. Um, I've also seen people do um, use Google Maps to be able to kind of track where they've been. Um, people also have kind of overlaid different um, maps from Strava um, to kind of show where they've been throughout the trail system. But really, whatever works for you, um, yeah. Does Does Strava track where you've been on the uh, in the park? So it does have a map that will show you the route that you've taken, but it won't kind of overlay it for you that says you've already been here, you should be here. It won't do that. Yeah, sorry if I missed this one, but uh, did you go over what the prizes are? I haven't. I will be announcing that in about two weeks, so stay tuned. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. And, sorry, could I back up to the Strava question? Yeah. I didn't use it in the end because I was traveling on other trails, and I, th I thought it was impossible to take it down once it had been communicated to you. So instead, I entered it manually. That's okay. That's the only workaround, right? Yes, I yeah. do believe that that is true. Okay. It should be, you should be able to kind of reconnect it through your profile, but occasionally I think that there are blips that yeah. it might be, it might be harder to do that. Okay, thanks. Yeah. 
And if anybody has like any like particular Strava questions or setting up their fundraising page, you can come to the launch party and we can help you get set up as well. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. Sorry, this is Helen. Um, okay, so I know that I'm trying to, I think everyone's questions with Strava are, I tried doing this last year and I feel like this is, I, th I guess, let me just make sure I'm understanding correctly the parameters of Strava so that I am not like banging my head against the wall, <laughs> attempting to accomplish something that I can't do. Mm -hmm. um, so the pros of Strava is that you hook it up, you sign up, you get a free period of time sidebar for a minute. How long is that period of time? That's free. You should just be able to sign up for a free account um, that you can just use. Is it only, I felt like when I signed up, it was like maybe for like a month and then you had to sign up for the whole year. But I was like, it's only a month into this three month thing. And now I need to pay like the $75 or whatever it is no, for no. a year. Yeah, no, definitely sound right? don't pay for it. Yeah, no, um, there should be a, a sneaky button um, that you should be able to click that says I don't or like X out of um, signing up for the um, like the account that only lasts for a month. Um, you, you're welcome to give us a call, send me an email, come to the launch party, and I'm happy to set that up with you. Okay, so sorry, like my phone froze a minute, but there, so there's a way to set it up not for just a month long for you thing. Correct. Okay, but that I the but like it's not obvious. Okay, so I should come and if I cannot make it to the lunch party, is I and I'm really sorry that you cut out. Was there some keyword that I missed, or like do I type something in like a code? Or there's no, there's no code. Give me a call or shoot me an email and I can walk you through if okay. you come to the launch party. Okay, cool. I yeah. will do that. Okay. Just back to my quick recap of making sure I understand Strava. Okay. I sign up, should be a free account for some period of time. It tracks your mileage when you're on the trails. And that's great because it automatically racks it up. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't keep track of like everything that you've done to that point. So it doesn't so, overlay. It doesn't, it's not like a grid that you're sort of filling in, like where you're like, okay, when you're not using it, it'll like follow me about the town. So it won't follow you if you're like, you know, walking around the town, you would have to start an activity. Like if you're um, on your watch or on your phone and you're saying, I'm going for a walk and you're using Strava, it will update that and put that information on your ATC page. So you would have to, um, I believe disconnect it from Strava and then reconnect it. I can um, look more into this as well. And I'll send a note about this to all of our challengers. Can you explain teams? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if I am going to my page, maybe I want to do a team anyway. Let's do edit page. Here's my team. I'm going to create a team. So my team name is going to be FOW staff, which is always my, I just, I just wish my FOW staff would do this with me. Fundraising target, let's say that's a hundred and our team story, I'm just going to put something in there. I can edit this later for the FOW staff and I'll create my team. So this will be if multiple people I'm part of FOW staff, I'm going to view my team. If multiple people, if you want to be kind of working together um, on a goal, have a competition, any of those kinds of things. So you guys, you're welcome to join the FOW staff team. I would love that. <laughs> um, if you want to have your own 
Um, I, as the owner of this team, am able to edit it. Um, other people who join my team would not be able to have access to that. Um, but as things get donated, people um, or distances, um, mileage is accrued, that will show up not only on my personal page, but also on our team page. So maybe the full team, it's me and Claire and two other people, and we each want to go 50 miles. So our goal is 200 miles. As we're each doing um, doing our mileage, that will update in here for us. Okay, so you have your individual and you're part of a team. Yep. Yep. Um, I've set up Strava this afternoon, but I was a little unclear about it's something about setting activities. Like, do I have to set them to public? Or... I believe that you do. Um, I will put together like a quick Q&A fact info sheet about setting up Strava. Um, and I'll look into that information. I know it's it can be a little bit complicated and I'll send that out to people. And when's the official date to start? So the official start date for members is on Monday. If you are not a member, it is next Monday. Not next Monday, next, next Monday. <laughs> you know what I mean. Any other questions? Uh, will there be more um, guided hikes since we haven't had very many this summer? Yeah, it's been really hot this summer. And so we've had to cancel a lot of our hikes um, due to the heat index. Um, we will have, I'll be pushing a lot of our hikes that are led by our trail ambassadors. Um, they really are the experts over, um, you know, me. Um, and unfortunately, Claire, they, they really are the kind of core group. Um, and they'll be taking people all over the park. You can definitely go and see a lot of those on our events page, which we can do and put in. So on FOW.com, we'll go to our events page and you can see that there are tons and tons of things happening, lots of stewardship days, but we also do have hopefully a lot of um, walks and talks, especially in, as we're kind of getting a little bit cooler. So if you want to go and see the mayor of Wissahickon, Miss Legends and Hermits, any of those kinds of things that they're super fun um, hanging out with, with our trail ambassadors. And there's, we add these every week we have more and more coming in from our trail ambassadors so if some of the times don't work for you if some of the days don't work do not fear any other questions all right I'm going to hang out for another minute or two if we have some bashful folks, but this was awesome. Thank you guys for, for coming and hanging with me and Claire for about a half hour.